So what's the deal, peeps? It's Wednesday, December 28th, 5.02 p.m. So I'm kind of turned up right now. Um, you know, I just want to put that out there uh, to, like, beat around the bush or whatever. But I just want to talk about a few things just so that these coward-ass puppets know, right? So, obviously, you guys know I've talked about this before, that I found a regiment that helps me to be able to pretty much combat my gang stalking and my targeting. And I've been sticking to that religiously, right? So today I chose to like, out of three months of not sleeping at my house, like literally never, every time I get sleepy, I take off. Every time I get sleepy, I take off. Every time I get sleepy, I take off and I go sleep somewhere else. All right, hold on, let me lock the door because I know my mom just got here. All right, so today I want to sleep in my house. Like, so I slept outside last night, right? I want to sleep outside. And I have to sleep at least a block away from my house, at least. So... Or at least even a half a block. Like, it's it's not even, like... That's just that's just how it goes. Because they have your whole house set up to, like, target you in, in that area, right? So, I, I slept at this little spot that I know of. And, and like, you know, I'm not going to put it out there. But I slept at this little spot, right? So, whatever. I go to sleep. I wake up. I go home and I'm chilling the, the day, right? Just, you know, watching TV, playing games, whatever. And I'm getting tired and I'm just like, dude, like, I'm just gonna sleep at the house. Fuck it. You know, like, I'm gonna sleep here. I'm tired of fucking going out, like, every fucking day and having to sleep somewhere else. So as soon as I fucking sleep here, I can tell the difference. Like, I can tell. Like, as soon as I woke up, I feel the back of, of my visual cortex. So, the back of the brain. All right, hold up. All right, so the visual cortex, as you guys can see, look. It's the back of the brain, the primary visual cortex. And it's funny because this is to the eyes, right? That's where I feel the energy, like literally. And I'm, I'm waking up. I feel like energy focused on that area, right? And I feel like I'm connected to something. And I can tell different types of targeting that I've that I can tell when I wake up I can doubt I can tell different types of energies and different types of connections that they've made to me previously so when I woke up I was just like oh fuck I don't like the shit I was already like dude I knew I shouldn't have fucking slept here and now that it's like something that I do religiously now it's a commandment like, I cannot sleep at my house because I know that they've infiltrated certain areas. And I just know that it's not good for me to sleep here. I can break free from it. All I got to do is not be here for either like a few days or just continue my regimen how I used to have it. But see, the thing is, is you don't want to give them a connection at all. Because once you do, they're like fucking like, like a horse that, that knows that the female's there. And they want to fucking, you know, they want to jump on it. Like, it, it's like a fucking flies to shit. Whatever you want to compare it to, they are, like, on it. Like, bees to honey, bro. Like, fucking, you know, once you give them an opportunity, you let the enemy inside. They're going to want to, like, not let go. It's like a little kid not le letting go of a toy, right? So, 
I was just like, fuck, dude. Like, I've been doing good this whole time. Like, just blocking them out. Like, pretty much, like, it's it's pretty much I've been blocking them out. To a percentage-wise, like, at least my, my targeting has reduced to, like, 60%, right? So I'm only dealing with the 40 to 30% of my targeting. Right now... I don't know how long it's going to take, but it's like at a 50 or 60% of them connectivity to me, to my brain, because the visual cortex is like, that's the part that they love the most in my targeting because it's the part that they can mess with me the most. If you don't see anything, it's like, it's not there. So what, where are they going to, what are they going to do mainly? If they, if they can mess with your auditory spectrum and your visuals, those are the main things that they focus on me because those are the only things that I pay attention to. If you if you don't hear any sound, you're not gonna you're you're not gonna be in tune with it. You're not gonna care. If you don't see anything, you're not gonna you're not gonna it's not gonna be there. It's invisible. But if you're seeing shit and hearing shit every day, that is them being able to fuck with you. Okay, that's them being able to mess with you. And when it's not at full capacity, they're not able to do a fucking thing. So I just wanted to state that because like I already know I'm going to fuck them up back to where I used to be. I already already know I'll do whatever it takes to get back to where I need to be. Just the simple fact of the matter that I can't sleep in my own house. Because they have weaponry that is that is targeting me specifically and directly. It just sucks, you know, but whatever. You know, boo-hoo-hoo, fuck the perps, fuck the fucking government. Um, I just want to let you guys know. Um, also, I've found shielding. And I've found in the past or whatever. I found shielding that can block this area of the brain. The visual cortex is the main part of the brain that you need to be having shielding for. Just this area right here. If you could make a bigger piece of shielding, I would cover this whole fucking thing right here with shielding. And there's a specific shielding that I'm that I'm using, but I'm not gonna fucking talk about. And I don't give a fuck if they know because I already know they know. They obviously know they have fucking billion dollars of equipment focusing down energy. You don't think they're gonna notice some type of resistance? You know what I mean? Something interfering with their technology connectivity? Like, come on, bro. Like they already fucking know ahead of time what the fuck you're doing. So, like, that's why I don't fucking give a fuck about talking about it. Sometimes they don't know. Like, they're just too stupid. They can't catch on right away. But it's probably preferably not to talk about it. Like, honestly, in my best interest, if I have shielding, I shouldn't even talk about it. I shouldn't even let them know I have it. But I'm a soldier. I don't give a fuck about these fucking puppet-ass clowns. They're fucking losers to me. And I'll talk about whatever the fuck I want because I ain't worried about it. So, um, <clears throat> let's see what else. What else? What else am I forgetting here? Hold on. All right. So as you guys can, I don't know if you guys can hear, but there's a fucking helicopter flying right over my pad right now. Little bitch made a helicopter. Let's go see what the fuck. Uh, what kind of helicopter it is, real quick. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, my God. I'm so surprised at that. A fucking military helicopter. Uh, But it's not. It's a fucking military helicopter. It's not a fucking goddamn sheriff. You fucking lying pieces of shit. What the fuck is wrong with my camera? That is a fucking military helicopter. And I can't zoom in on my phone or whatever, but it's a fucking military helicopter. You see, because I'm already, I'm already taking, um, I know I fucked up.
um, I, uh, I'm already taking stance to reverse the shit that I did because let me tell you what happened exactly. Right. So, okay. So I sleep in my house, right? I wake up and automatically how I can tell is obviously how my brain feels, how I stand, like how I stand, like, which means like how I feel just in general. I could tell, it's just like, oh, this is, I already felt this feeling before. I've already felt this way before. And I know that I don't like it this way. I'm just like, fuck, all right, whatever. So I go and I start playing my game, right? I start playing Apex on online. And I'm noticing that the fucking Apex character is fucking with me. Like, her just moving her hands, it's like I feel like everything's synchronized with technology, with technology, so your phone, the computers are more fucking heightened. All that shit is heightened. The fucking cars, the perps, everything. They're all fucking in tune and shit. Yeah, so everything was in tune. So obviously, I know by sleeping in my house, everything has more of a connectivity. So what happens is, it's like whatever parts of the brain that are interrupted or disconnected or are having a trouble connecting to this system it establish reestablishes all those connections so it's like it's like it's like if they're doing an mri when you're asleep and they're fucking reprogramming every little fucking neural fucking network that they have to your brain so that's pretty much what the fuck happened is like i slept here and i was just like fuck all the progress that i had um <clears throat> you know, they just reestablished it, which is not a big deal because I already know how to fuck them up. Um, So the simple fact of the matter is, is that every place that I've went to to go and try to sleep has been infiltrated. I found a building that I was sleeping at and they fucking like somehow let the owner know and like I ended up getting like caught that I was sleeping there. And they like they didn't report it or anything, but they just made it let they let like pretty much made it known like oh if you keep coming back here we're gonna call the cops all right so that place was burned out. I had another place that I went to that was under construction, and I would be able to sleep there. And like usually they won't come like really really early in the morning, and I would leave very very early. And today they came and seen me sleeping there in my tent or whatever so that place is burned out and like i would go to the cemetery right and i would sleep at the cemetery and then like i got reported on that i was sleeping at the cemetery like somebody would literally come and fucking like talk shit that i was asleep in the cemetery but like I would put out a sheet on the grass or whatever, or even if I fell asleep in my car, like nobody's worried about other fucking people being there. Like, honestly, like if you're visiting people that are passed away, unless it's like right there where they're at, they're not going to worry about it. And like, how do they even know you're asleep in your car? If I'm in a van in the back of the van asleep where nobody can see me because all my windows are practically tinted. And, like, but somehow it's just, like, they're sitting there waiting and, like, fucking, like, oh, we can't get to you, so we're going to fucking complain. And so, like, that place, um, what else? Just, like, anywhere, dude. It doesn't matter. I could break down more, even more information if I want to. And and it's, like, dude, they, they don't, like, if you know how this fucking system works, they don't want you to be able to have a place to go to and have sanctuary. Like, to seek asylum and shit. Like, you cannot fucking get away from the shit. You know what I mean? Like, unless you have a spot that you know the people there. And they're, they'll allow you to sleep there and whatever like that. Like, event just, of, just know that if you find a place, like, you can use it in the meantime, which is great. And as long as you're not breaking the law, oh, my God, a little ticket of trespassing or whatever ain't shit. You know what I mean? If you're sleeping on somebody's property, it's not really it ain't shit. Like, especially if it's like apartments or whatever the fuck, you know, a laundry room, a fucking whatever, whatever you can find. 
abandoned building, whatever, whatever you want. <clears throat> as long as you feel better there, like there's no electricity, you're outside, whatever. Um, you're golden, dude. Like, just don't even trip. Like, use it as long as you can, and then when you, you know, when the shit hits the fan or when you get burned out, you leave. So it doesn't matter. Like these fucking clowns. Like I already have another spot. I have like four, five, six, seven spots I could go to. So when one falls, I gotta travel a little bit further, but that's fine. I don't give a fuck as long as I'm gonna deal with these fucking clowns. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to be connected to these fucking pieces of trash everywhere. You know what I mean? Like these these fools are lower level fucking consciousness pieces of trash. Why do you want to be connected to them? You know what I mean? Like, if anything, you should be connected to higher beings, higher purposes, higher shit. Like, everything higher than what the normal standard is. Like, all these fucking pathetic-ass losers are leeches, succubus, fucking serpent pieces of trash. Why do you want to be connected to them? It's like, <clears throat> that's what the real torture is. You know what I mean? Like, it's not it's not necessarily all just gang stalking, whatever. It's the torture is being connected to a bunch of dumb fucks, a bunch of a bunch of low educated fucking retards. That's that's what the fucking real like shit that like kind of chaps your ass type of thing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not like I'm not worried about the fucking gang stalking. I'm not scared of any of these bitches. I sleep where I want, I go where the fuck I want, I do what the fuck I want. And they know this shit, they know it, trust and believe. They know that I don't give a fuck. And they know that if I catch their fucking ass lingering around, around where I sleep, that they're going to get fucked up. Watch. I'm telling you, dude, like, it's happened already. Like, I've already taken action against these fucking clowns. And... They know not to report it. They know not to fucking say shit because they, they know they're in the wrong. Like, what is what is their explanation going to be when they're not supposed to be there? You know what I mean? Like, when they're not supposed to be there at fucking three in the morning, fucking, you know what I mean? Like, just too close to comfort. Like, it doesn't matter, bro. Like, you know, I know the law and I'm not going to do anything outside the law or anything incriminating to get myself caught up like i'm gonna go within the law and use the law to my advantage and get their asses in trouble you know what i mean like so i don't have to resort to violence all i gotta do is use my fucking brain all right so you can use different types of measures of whatever you want to use to get results <clears throat> and um right now i just woke up you know i'm, I'm kind of tipsy still but like i'm all right and it just it kind of pisses me off that i can't be here uh comfortably at my own house um without being fucking targeted with these energy weapons and shit like you know what i mean and like fucking scanned and and and, and, and you know and fucked with when i'm awake i can't sleep here like i, I don't have like, I don't consider this my house. You know what I mean? You see, when they say, oh, there is no place like home, this isn't my fucking home. I can't even fucking sleep here because these fucking cocksucking fucking cowards. All right? <clears throat> and um, it's all right, though. You know what I mean? Like, I don't give a fuck. As long as I'm winning them, as long as I'm crushing their pathetic little fucking existence and their power isn't able to be used fully on me then i'm winning i'm like i'm smiling in their face and i'm laughing at them i'm fucking i'm winning bro like every day i see them and i'm just like ah, fucking clown keep trying one step behind two steps behind they're constantly trying to fucking like keep up with me bro it's fucking pathetic and um like i said since i know how it goes it comes easy for me like you know, I just get comfortable. I get comfortable. And then I'm just like, okay, well, whatever. You know, I kind of get careless and I'm just like, boom. And then I fuck and it fucks me over. You know what I mean? Whatever. But like I said, it's not irreversible. It's not like them fucking going and putting a fucking chip in my brain that I can't take out. You know what I mean? Which they want to fucking do, but it's never going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, shit. 
let them put something in my body and see how I react to it without my consent. Like, nigga, it's over. There's no fucking, there's no coming back. <clears throat> but anyways, um, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, just don't fall for their shit. You know, stick to your regimen. Stick to a strict plan. Strict stick to like something if you can tell what you notice what your discernment is what you can tell you can see it you can feel it you can understand it then go with it don't you know if you're in a bad situation take yourself out of it sleep somewhere else like i told you sleep anywhere the fuck else it doesn't matter and see the difference see the fucking difference all right People are too lazy to even do that. They don't want to even go sleep out somewhere else. They're like, oh, no, you know, it's still going to follow me, blah, blah, blah. And they don't even try to, like, experiment with it or try to test that theory. And they're going to stay They're gonna stay stuck in their fucking stocking and their, their targeting, honestly, because they don't even try. At least if they tried, they'd probably see something or understand. But they, they're not. They're not, they're not going to try and they're not going to fucking change their regimen, their fucking daily regimen, that they do the same shit every day and expect not to get targeted. That's fucking stupid. All right, so. <clears throat> um, I've seen like a really f few good movies lately. I just want to kind of recommend them. So you guys can check them out. Um, one of them is, uh, oh, I can't remember the name. Let me try to remember. I don't know why I can't think of the name, but I'm just thinking of Transformers 5, the one that just recently came out. Where the dude ends up like being chosen to be a knight and like helps the human planet from being extinct or whatever. And it's a pretty cool movie. Um, then there's another one I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember. So anyways, <clears throat> I'm getting tired. The phone kind of went to sleep. I'm already getting, I'm not, shit, I'm not sleeping here because I already know <clears throat> once you sleep here, like it kind of gets you adapted to it. So they're going to they're gonna try to put you to sleep. Like they try so hard to get me to go to sleep here. And as soon as I feel like I can't fight it off, and I'm going to doze off. I'll get my shit. And I'll leave. And I'll sleep somewhere else. Every single fucking time. So. They're already being fucking outplayed. Like. I see them. I wish I could see the look on their face. Whoever's in charge of this operation of my targeting. So I can laugh at them. And fucking be like. Are oh, you fucking dumb fucking retarded bitch. You know what I mean? Whether it's the AI system, these fucking drones, all the whole fucking targeted com the targeting community, and just laugh on their face, get up on stage, and be like, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to teach my people and everybody that I know how fake you fucking clowns are and that you can get off of this system, at least to a certain extent. And I'm going to show them how. And I'm going to show them I'm going to continue to fight and I'm going to continue to fight back. So good luck with your fucking faggotry. You know what I mean? Like, straight up. Go well, fuck if the FBI, CIA is there. The fucking goddamn national security. I don't give a fuck. Fuck all of them fucking punk ass bitches. They're all part of this fucking corrupt ass shit. Till they're taken out of power. 
the corrupt ones that are a part of this, you're not going to see any justice. Not for things that are that sh that need to be looked at. So, you know, understand the world that you're living in. Because there's a bunch of cowards everywhere around you that are willing to participate in this fucking satanic system. <laughs>